got a special delivery in today. What is in the box? Ha! Ah! Like that. <laughs> We're both hoppy beer fans, and we know a lot of you guys are too. We have the advantage of working in a homebrew store, so we've gotten to try a lot of the new varieties. A question that we get asked a lot is how do you build your, how do you understand all these different flavors, and how do you kind of come to know what's going to do what to a beer? Floral versus fruity versus piney and earthy. Certainly you can go online and read the descriptions, we've done a lot of that, but there's actually a fun little kind of, what would you call it? Beer hack. Beer hack, yeah. And we're going to show you guys a fun way to test out the kind of dry hopper, the aromatic properties of varieties of hops that you've never tried before without having to brew a whole big batch. So let me clean up this mess and then we'll show you guys the hop hack. The hop hack. So we've got eight varieties of kind of the most trendy, most talked about, most sought after hops. We want to try all of these different varieties of hops, but we certainly, you know, if we were to brew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single hop beer recipes, that would be quite an investment of time. If we kind of want to get, uh, get our heads around these a little quicker, a nice beer hack that you can do at home is to kind of dry hop a base beer in a growler, or if it comes in a bottle already, you can just kind of pop a top off one of your favorite light lager beers. One of our favorite beers is this Fall City Pilsner. Really, really nice. A lot of people use like the American domestic beer for these kind of experiments, like a light or a light, but we like drinking local, and I like using something with a little bit more body to it. I don't know how you're gonna tell if the hops are any good if you're putting it in light. Yeah, exactly. You get a beer that has a good base to it already. And this one is a really, really nice, crisp, clean, nice and bright, very fresh. Little bit of like lingering maltiness, so it's not, you know, it doesn't finish off to nothing. Just a super good beer yeah. that dry hops would be pretty daggone tasty. So that's what we're gonna do. And we've stocked up on our favorite Louisville Pilsner. Basically, we might do some assembly line action here. Uh, we'll get Sam to throw a few hot pellets in each bottle. I'll fill them up with beer. I got some caps sanitized down here. We'll recap them. And then they say to kind of, you know, let it set for, I think in my experience, like 48 hours is usually enough time in this small of a scale. We'll probably end up letting it go two and a half days. Uh, and then we'll crack them next week. And we'll get back with you guys for the tasting. So we decided to add about 1.75 grams of hot pellets to each 22 ounce bottle. That's roughly equivalent of three ounces going into a five gallon batch. So we should get a pretty nice dose of whatever aromatics these hops have to offer. And because six noses are better than two, and because drinking this many beers will be way more fun with friends, we invited our friends, Brian, Drew, and Cam from Fall City Beer over for the tasting day. Guys, we've recruited some help. It's been about 48 hours? When did we put those in the bottle, Sam? Was that on Sunday? He's working. It was on Sunday. It was on Sunday. So they've been sitting in there for about two and a half days. We've got all the varieties, and we weren't sure, as we said, if this was going to quite work out, but we actually just experimented with the Galaxy, and it kind of worked. But we've got all the varieties that you guys saw us put up here the other day, and just because this is a lot of beers uh, for a couple of guys to drink, we've recruited some help from some of the hippest guys we know. From Fall City. What's up, homies? What's up? So we're gonna kind of crack these, and we'll just go through and I don't know, see what we like, see what we don't like, and uh, I don't know, get weird. What if we like all of them? I know that's probably what's gonna happen. You wanna start off with Yarillo? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, me. I'm really glad you said it, not me. Uh, something less cultured than what he's. <laughs> <laughs> Jarlo. <laughs> Jarlio. All right. So what we've been doing and. We don't know if this is the best way, but it's our way. Yeah. Is we're gently decanting. Pouring, decanting. That's a great word. <laughs> decanting the beer into a coffee press and then pressing out any hop residue because basically. Which there is a lot. Look at the color, although. Man. All right, Yorillo. 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 <laughs> it's got to be Yorillo. 
but I smell banana and orangey, kind of orange peel and banana. Oh, you just reading the pack. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of beta acid. <laughs> First thing on Google is that it's named after the Slavic god of fertility. Ooh. Hey, yo. I was going to say, I'm feeling a little tingling yeah. south of the border. <laughs> Is that almost the worst of Fall City needs any more of that? <laughs> I see this working better in a beer that we aren't using to be in your face. I could see it going good in a really dry saison. Oh yeah. Mixed but wait, there's more. Polaris. Nice. So this one, oh, I am scared. Not just a four wheeler. I won't read any descriptors on here, but it's twenty point eight percent alpha, straight off the vine. <laughs> can we? Can we? Uh, can we just get a close up yeah, on the hob log? Look we'll at those logs. They're going floaties. I even agitated the bottles, but uh, those those are hanging tight. You know, twenty percent alpha is probably basically tar. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's how you know it's good for you. Yeah. Like a Great for a snack, it fits on your back, it's log, 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 log. Can we make a Ren and Stimpy beer? That's probably why we're all so like the way that we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, I definitely don't make more. cartoons like that anymore. We need six guys, how many oh, fucking times do I have to tell you all? <laughs> there are six people here! <laughs> that is overpowering. Polaris? That's, yeah. Oh my God. You said banana, That's didn't you? Yeah, I was gonna say, it was like feet. You want a nice yeah. bananas? Uh, good feet or bad feet? But there is no good just, I'm almost, I'm almost like a no on this just because I agree with you that the, the mm. initial smell is That's very hard pass. Yeah. yeah. It may, I mean, it smells like a warm fermented hefe bison. Yeah. They're not, I'm not 20, even... 20, 20.8 alpha acid. That's why it smells like that. I'd be scared to even use that as a bitter. If, right. if you're going to use Polaris in the future, I would not suggest they use it post 60 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about whole melon. So whole melon. It's right here. It's low alpha acid hop. It's a flavor and air, aromatic coffee. All right. I definitely get some melon rind. And orange yeah. and strawberry. Yeah. I like this one. Mm-hmm. Again, we're kind of running into a bunch of those that I think are best used to like go with the yeah. classics, like Cascade, Centennial, supporting Citra. Actor. Yeah, supporting actors. Philip Seymour Hoffman of hops. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Ah! There's something there. Don't like, take it. Don't put that. No. It's a UK hop. It's pretty new. And basically, they no made an English hop. They've been trying to jack our style. Uh, they've been trying to basically make an English hop that tastes like an American hop. And according to what we've read, they did it. Nobody could believe that it was English. They thought they were joking, so they named it Jester. So we kind of, it's kind of like a role reversal here. Yeah, a little you know? bit. Come and stay into a hipster coffee shop near you. But yeah, right? Wait. It's only a matter of time. Oh. You get a hipster side, too. <laughs> Jester. Jester. Hey, I like the smell. Yeah, it does have some aroma. Yeah, it shows up. Like a citrusy, tropical, fruity, like almost like American or New Zealand style hop. I don't know if you told me this was Centennial. Yeah, if you told me. Too, I like yeah. it, yeah. yeah you're like right. It. it does smell a lot like Centennial. <sighs> I think the flavor is better wow. than the aroma. I agree. Yeah, it, it has a nice flavor. Wait a second. This is English? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I can't bloody believe it. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> but I stopped. That's, yeah, that's Australian. Australian. <laughs> uh, not the same country. <laughs> Denali. 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 Denali, like, Woo. we put it in our high horse. Yeah. yeah. I love this song so much. It's a dang city right there. Yeah, it is. I like it. For me, this is like a standout for what you use as a in your face. Yeah, it's pineapple-y. It's juicy. I like that. So, yeah. Pineapple, juicy. It's juicy. Peach on Denali all the time, which I love. Yeah, I like that. Apple. Big aroma, big flavor. I like it. Is, is Fall City Pilsner the best beer to, to do this with? It's hard to prove that, but I would say <laughs> yes with confidence. Yeah. This is the one where a lot of us were yeah, really excited. Got some action about. over here. So how do you pronounce this? Um, Whitey. Whitey. Whitey? I just call this Whitey. Wyclef John. Wyclef <laughs> John. So the director of Thor Ragnarok. It's California. His They're name Taika Waititi, and he's from New Zealand. So they made a meme after that. Do you really know this? Yeah. That's like a, that's that's your bullshit. Look. Maybe my favorite Marvel movie. Mm. Need some of those Infinity Stones. Mm. Oh, how's that Waititi smell? <laughs> how's those Waititi's? Uh, how's the Waititi smell? Waititi. Waititi. There's, There's like, no T in front of yeah, yeah. Y-T. Well, I actually have the benefit of doing Why this. Why is there a hyphen in there? Okay, so I get lemon, green tea. Ooh, very strong green tea. and coconut. Wow, you're staying strong with all of those. Yeah, man, you're confident. 
really good. Yeah, a lot of green tea. Oh, yeah. crap. Oh, you know what hipsters love? It's green tea. Green tea. Because this one's this it smells like matcha tea. This matcha. is the lowest that's alpha. What, that's what we eat at. This is 3.3. This is the lowest alpha acid we've tried. I would put that one. This is my number one. I knew it was going to be going into Save this. Save it to the end. I put it next to Denali and Galaxy because I'm also big fans of those. But this is very, very tasty. Damn, it's almost, the, I mean, so this one actually has the most flavor that comes so through. And it's different. Tea. Especially for how low alpha it was. We were trying to decide whether or not to put the same amount of, like, AAUs into each bomber or to use the same volume of hops in each bomber. We went with volume. But even being super low alpha, like, the flavor comes through the most. Really, that's going to be at least the most consistent. I wish we could just same volume. Yeah. So the top three that we like from today... Were Denali, the Galaxy, and the Waiiti. Waiiti. Can someone look up how we're supposed to say them? You guys want to try an experiment? So, what it, it if we took hipster repellent yeah, and like uber hipsterized it? Just fuck those up with our favorite hops. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 That's what I like to see. Ooh. That's when it's uber hipster. Ooh, kill them. Ooh, look, those logs are floating around down there. Yeah. Logs, They're dancing. Bro. Hey, dog, we heard you like hipster repellent IPA from Fall City. So, we took hipster repellent. And we made it ten times more hipster than ever. Oh my god. Ah, that is a disaster. Hipster. If you're gonna do stuff. Ten times more hipstery. Alright, Uber hipster. Cheers. What, what the, the fuck? Just kidding, guys. We would not leave you hanging like that. The Denali, Galaxy, and Waidi Uber Hipster blend was absolutely incredible. Huge pineapple citrus punch with bright, delicate matcha. That sounded kind of pretentious. It was so good that the guys from Fall City actually offered to let us go big on their seven barrel brew rig, and that's an opportunity that you jump on. So we did. We spent the day at the Fall City Brew House making an imperial, hazy, juicy, double dry hopped IPA with the Waidi, the Nali, and Vic's Secret hops, because can't nobody get that much Galaxy on short notice. And now we want to share. We're putting a link to the tapping party down below. If you're not in Louisville, we'll also put a link to the recipe so you can brew it at home. Huge thank you to the guys at Fall City for hanging out with us, and a huger thank you to all of you for doing the same. If you try this bottle hopping method and you discover a favorite new hop, drop us a line. We'd love to talk about it. Thank you again for watching, and until we see you again, brew something awesome. Doing great. Just got a quarter more to go. Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Cam. Maybe some water? You get water when you're done. <laughs>